This is lesson 10 and we are going to study about the limits on a graph. We are going to study about the limits on a graph. Here, uh, firstly the function is x plus 1 and the value is getting closer to, x value is getting closer to 3. Here, these values are getting closer to 3. From 3.1 it starts and it's getting closer to 3. And from 3.9 it starts and getting closer to 3. When the x values are getting closer to 3, the limit value here, the limit value is getting closer to 4. So the y value is also, y is equal to limit of x tends to 3 fx here. Here the important part, the y value, the y value is at the same time for the polynomial function fx y is equal to fx at the same time. So when you get closer to 2 from, pardon, when you get closer to 3 from the negative side, this side is called negative side, this side is called positive side. And from the negative side, when you get closer to, the function is also getting closer to 4. And here it's getting closer to 4. So the limit value here, the y value is equal to 4. We are going to say the limit of fx for 3, limit of fx for 3 is going to be equal to 4. If we check this graph here, here when the value is, this is x plus 1, this time we are going to approximate, we are going to get closer to point 1. When the x is getting closer to 1, I am showing this two point, look at the, the value between them the value is getting closer to, from both sides to 1 and uh, at the same time at the same time here the y values are getting closer to this point what is this point 2 so this function is getting closer to when x is getting closer to 1 y is getting closer to 2 so we are going to say it like this we are going to say it like this limit x tends to x tends to 1 fx is going to be equal to is going to be equal to 2 okay let's continue with our graph now here the function given uh, function it is in this form this is a piecewise function and find the limit for x is equal to 5 over 2 as you see here 5 over 2 is not defined 5 over 2 is not defined and it is defined at this point so f 5 over 2 f 5 over 2 is equal to 2 but limit x tends to 5 over 2 5 over 2 fx is not equal to is not equal to 2 okay is not equal to 2 we are going to find the limit value now. I'm going to draw one line here. Now, let's draw this line and to see the how the function is getting closer to that value. Here, okay. Now, as you see here, I'm getting closer to five over two value. And I'm checking at the same time the y values. When I get closer to 5 over 2 on the function, on the function, which means these points, these points are getting closer to, these points are getting closer to, as you see here, these points are getting closer to 4. Okay. From this side, I am getting closer. Here, I'm going to get closer from this point. Okay, I'm going to get closer from this point to the function. Here now I'm going to get closer. If you follow the line here, this point is getting closer to same value also. Here, this point is going to get closer to same value. And this value is again 4. So we are going to say like this. Limit of this function at this point is going to be equal to 4. Function value, it can be 2. The function value of 5 over 2, it's equal to 2. But the limit value, it's going to be equal to 
4. Okay, new question. Here we are going to draw the graph of the x minus 1 x minus 1, minus x minus 1, sorry, y is equal to, I'm going to draw first, y is equal to minus x minus 1. Now we are going to draw, now we are going to draw y is equal to this piecewise function y is equal to minus x minus 1 at x is not equal to 2 and 3 at x is equal to 2. First of all, let me draw how to graph how was the graph of x minus x minus 1. Here uh, if x is equal to 0 y is equal to y is equal to minus x minus 1 it was and if x is equal to 0 y is equal to minus 0 minus 1 y is equal to minus 1 it's going to be if y is equal to 0, the function is y is equal to minus x minus 1. So I'm going to write directly 0 is equal to minus x minus 1. So it's going to be equal to x is equal to minus 1. Going to be. Here this is the point and this point y is equal to minus 1 point this is. This is x is equal to minus 1 point. And 1 of the graph, uh, it's going to be from it's going to pass through these points and if I draw the graph here here from these points a graph passing through these points okay here is going to be okay the graph is going to pass through these points but but here we have one problem. The problem is at 2. When the values are equal to 2, when the values are equal to 2, when the values are equal to 2 here, at 2, hold on. When the value is equal to 2, the function has the value normally on the graph, it seems minus 3. But it says that. When the x is equal to x is equal to 2, when x is equal to 2, function is equal to 3. So when x is equal to 2, function is equal to 3 means it's going to be this point. So here this value it should be open. It should be open. So this point it's going to be open for us. And we are going to circle like this. We are going to circle like this. Okay. Now, here again, we have the same case. Function graph, y is equal to function graph. F, if we look for F2, the value is equal to 3. But limit x tends to limit x tends to 2 fx is not equal to 3 is not equal to 3 because when you get closer to this value like this here when you get closer to this value the function is I'm checking the function where is the function here here it is and the function is getting closer to this value okay when I check this value here this is 3 from the other side when I get closer from this side I am getting closer and the function is here also it's getting closer and the y value is getting closer to same number so we are going to say like this the limit of the function is equal to minus 3 okay now I'm going to draw the graph of x squared minus x squared plus 2 and x squared minus 4 over x minus 2. First I need to do some operations here. First I need to show this one. x squared minus 4 over x minus 2 can be written also. Can be written like this. x squared minus 2 squared over x minus x minus 2. Then this is going to be equal to x squared x squared uh, minus 2 squared is going to be equal to x minus 2 times x plus 2. x minus 2 times pardon x minus 2 times 
x plus 2, x plus 2, and over x minus 2 is going to be here. And the result is going to be, when you simplify this 2, the result it should be x plus 2. Yes, if it is, if the simplifying the function is possible, it should be like this, x plus 2. So I'm going to draw two graphs. 1, x plus 2 graph, and I'm going to draw x squared minus x minus 2 graph. First thing, if y is equal to x minus, y is equal to, y is equal to x plus 2 graph I'm drawing now. We draw many graphs before, that's why y is going to be equal to 2, x is going to be equal to minus 2. The graph of the function, it should be like this. It should be like this. Okay. This graph is, this graph is y is equal to, y is equal to x plus 2. Now I'm going to draw the graph of, now I'm going to draw the graph of y is equal to x squared minus 4 over x minus 2. Here, in this two graph is going to be the common point. Here, this point is not defined in the function this point is not defined on the function y is equal to x squared minus 4 over x minus 2. Why it is not defined? Because if you replace the x value by 2, function it's going to be undefined. 2 squared minus 4 over 2 minus 2. 2 squared minus 2 over minus 4 over 2 minus 2 is going to be 0 over 0 and this is undefined. So function is undefined here. The point of 2 is empty here. Point of 2, empty. We don't know the y value here. Okay, we don't know the y value. It is 0 over 0. Now, this two graph, they seem 90%, 99%, 99.9%, they are same, but only this point. So, they are not same graphs. That's why, that's why here, when you want to find the when you want to find the limit of limit x tends to 2 x squared minus 4 over x minus 2 as you see you cannot replace the x by 2 because it's going to give you 0 over 0 and you're not going to find any value but on the graph when you get closer to 2, when you get closer to 2, the function value is getting closer to this value, which is equal to 4. Also from this side, when you get closer, from this side also it's going to get closer to the same value on this part here. The value is 4. How to solve this equation? Later we are going to learn.